doing your own work and working for yourself. We need to make sure that you're paying the tax man because something that can be difficult on a single parent is a tax bill. If you got your little side hustle going on and right now everything's just coming in and out of the same account, don't worry about it. Start now, you know, separate it out and you've got this. I mean, it's, it's exciting. Divorce can be emotionally and financially overwhelming. That's why I'm teaming up with Sonny Wishart, president and founder of Alicart Financial and a certified financial planner. We will show you how to understand all things money without feeling ashamed, overwhelmed, embarrassed. You will learn, learn more, ask questions. No question is a dumb question. Welcome to Money with Sunny. Let's get into it. Today, we're going to talk to you about knowing your why, tax considerations, and the disadvantage of commingling your personal and business finances. So, Sunny, knowing your why. Hmm. Um, I, well, I am an entrepreneur. I know my why. And then there's, so it's kind of a, a, a chat I like to have. It, it's always women I chat with about this, whether they're looking at starting a side hustle, they run a side hustle, they run their own practices, whatever they're doing, but what is their why? And it's, and they're also different. Is it to, um, is it because you need to make money and you want to do just do it your own way in your career? Is it because you just need a little more extra coming in to fund the fun things in in life? It's just understanding where you're coming from in order to understand the capacity and amount to put into the work is, I find, very important when it comes to doing your own work and working for yourself. Mm -hmm. Knowing your why is motivating, inspiring for you, keeps you going when times get tough. Um, you jump out of bed in the morning, excited to get after it. I mean, it is really important. So what's your why, Sonny? You're an entrepreneur. You do what you do. What's your why? My main why is my little guy. Mm. That And I think well, this is a a bit of an age old tale that I see is that I needed flexibility because he means the moon to me. My son is nine now, but I've been doing this since for almost six years um, and being there for him. And now I was working corporate before. And when your two year old is the saddest kid in daycare, because they're the first picked up or first dropped off and last picked up, he knew. And he asked, he, he was sad. So, and that broke my heart and it didn't have to be that way. So I made change and started my own business so that I can work around his schedule more and be there for him. Cause this time is fleeting. He's almost 10 mm -hmm. I love <laughs> and that. I'm loving it. And, and when you know your why, like, how does it help you? How did it help you keep on going even when times are tough and we all know, you know, entrepreneurship, you know, has its ups and downs, you know, but so how do you keep going? How do you keep after it? How do you, how do you keep plugging away, keep yourself excited about what you're doing and why, why is knowing your why so important? Well, it helps that I love what I do. Uh, absolutely. It's a roller coaster. I'm not saying that just because I love what I do, it's been a breeze. It's been a lot of ups and a lot of downs. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's just entrepreneur life. That isn't necessarily just, you know, my industry or my business. Um, so it doesn't hurt my feelings. Sometimes it does, but just depends on when you catch me. But knowing my why reminds me to be grateful every day that I am, you know, on the school run. I don't take meetings between three and four. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> because I'm standing out there picking my kid up from school. We're walking home together. It's very, he's telling me everything about his day. 
and and our communication is incredible and i just feel fortunate that i i i feel so fortunate all the time that i'm able to have that relationship with him and mm -hmm. i just know that we're leading into the teenage years and i want to make sure we have a solid relationship leading in and I know that not everyone has this type of flexibility and not that there's a right and wrong. It's just, this was right for our family. Mm -hmm. And I get to then spend my days working with other families, helping them understand their why and work towards what's going to mean a lot to them as well. And in particular regarding their money so that they can have the sort of freedom um, or flexibility to do the things that are important to them. Mm. Love that. That's awesome. Now, when you're when you meet with someone who uh, is transitioning through separation and divorce, um, you talk to them about uh, a side hustle t conversation comes up and they start to say, you know, I got to make a little extra money or I'm not happy doing the work that I'm doing now. I might want to shift and change. You're the financial expert. So now you talk to them about tax implications. What does that conversation look like? What's what's important here? What do we have to consider? Yeah, like if you're working, say you have a full-time gig and you're looking to pick up a little bit extra. So sometimes I see things uh, where, you know, the kids are with their dad on this evening and that evening or on this weekend. In, in in you're in a place where I want to fill that time. I'm not ready to have that time to myself yet. I want to fill it. I want to work. I want to do something. So this is a very common scenario. And I think, great. Okay, so I'm going to do whatever it is they're doing on the side, whether it's some MLM structure or it's additional work in their field. But I do talk to them about tax implications because it starts coming down to things like, well, you've got this, say you have a salaried income and then you're working like a side hustle and that's another income that you have to take into consideration. And I call that multiple sources of income. Mm -hmm. So when income's coming in from different places, it's not taxed equally. It's not taxed the same. So we need to make sure that you're paying the tax man because something that can be difficult on a single parent is a tax bill. Mm. Yeah. Or so that, anybody. yeah. Damn, big surprise tax bill. Nobody wants that. So it's really about being prepared and understanding uh, and understanding your taxes. And that's what you help people with. But, but don't let it stop you from making lots of money. Oh, have at her. <laughs> Go Let's for that do. side hustle. You figure out the tax stuff. Sonny's here to help you. <laughs> yeah, let's just make sure that's tidy. But if you need to keep busy or whatnot, go. Let's go. Let's get it going. Because sometimes that side hustle grows into more. And it's your exit strategy from, as we say in entrepreneur land, from the J-O-B. So that could be, if that starts doing really well, that could be an exit strategy. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And then the third uh, part of the conversation that you would have uh, with someone here would be uh, speaking to them about the disadvantages of combining personal and business income and finances and money. So just talk to us a little bit about that. And what does someone have to do, prepare for, uh, organize so that they can grow their side hustle, grow their business of their dreams, make lots of money, be a huge success. Just get get started on the right foot. That's right. So when, like I recently had, I had this conversation last week of she's got the full-time career, all is well there, but has this nice little side hustle, but it's all just flowing through her checking account and her credit card. And I'm like, well, what is this business costing you? <laughs> I'm not sure. Are you, you know, what are you making? Well, it all kind of just drips and drabs in. Okay, we need some clarity on this. And commingling personal and business money is never to be. And if you can start out of the gates, having it uncoupled, you are set. You don't necessarily need to go to your bank and say, I need to open a business banking account and a business this because those are expensive. You can simply open a an additional account on your personal side of banking. Ideally, there's no charge for the account or a small charge. 
um, and every cent every time you get paid, however you get paid, lands in that account. And every time you have an expense for your business comes out of that account. So yeah. sometimes you need a credit card. So you'd have a separate credit card for your business. Or if that's not possible, use your existing credit card, but get an, ad an additional card holder. So it has its own number. So mm. on those statements, those transactions are scaled out. So you're going to have a separate credit card number, regardless of how you get that, and a separate bank account. And that will funnel all the in and out because you need to know the bottom line income and expenses that this business is generating for tax purposes. Right. So get started off right. <sighs> yeah, I've been there where I didn't start off right. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't oh, know yeah and then <laughs> and then you want to talk about highlighters there's the pink highlighter the yellow highlighter the green <laughs> highlighter and oh my god it's a gong show so yeah if you're if you got your little side hustle going on and right now everything's just coming in and out of the same account don't worry about it start now you know separate it out Meet with Sunny. She'll help you get all organized. She's got the templates and stuff to get things organized. And you've got this. I mean, it's it's exciting. I'm working with a client and uh, been working with her for four or five months now. And she was a stay-at-home mom. Uh, her husband had an affair. And uh, so it was a, uh, she, we, we worked through uh, things together in, in that regard. She decided and realized and wants to uh, make some money. So she, so she's always been great baker. So she got a little part-time job at a local bakery and um, put a, a little uh, thing together on Instagram and she's selling baked goods. Now she's, you know, just running it out of her home for now. There's no, we haven't crossed the health and safety inspection line or, or any of that right yet. Uh, but she's rolling and she's starting to see some serious uh, business coming in, some income coming in. And she's really, really excited about, uh, about the future and taking this into, uh, into being her full-time gig and her main source of income. So it's exciting. Anyone can do it. What do you love to do? Why do you want to do it? Why do you love to do it? Talk to someone like Sunny to make sure you understand your the tax implications and get all those numbers in order, get the proper bank accounts organized and and uh, and then open yourself up to uh, to business and making money and make lots of it. You can do it. You can do it. Anything else, Sunny? What else should we talk about here? There's so much to talk about, but you know what? You can do it. You can make lots of money and you can get all organized. This is it. I, I am never one to discourage anyone from chasing that dream. I think because I work for myself. I, I, I've been an entrepreneur. I've been a salaried employee, then go back to entrepreneurship. It's, it's, um, you know, you can do it. Absolutely. You have to, you have to believe in yourself. You have to set up the right practices. We have to make sure we're not setting yourself up for failure, like the commingling, just planning for the taxes. Cause that tax man's finds yes so as long as those are all in good order it's a really have great fun. foundation yeah do what you have love fun. to do keep mm -hmm. it exciting if it if you're jumping out of bed in the morning excited to uh, check the emails for orders or see you know what collab is in the works you know th that's a good day that's a good day and like sunny mentioned you may have some time on your hands now time when your kids are not with you and you can, you know, do lots of things with that time. You can lay on the couch, eat potato chips, watch TV with that time. That's okay sometimes. You can drink excessively. That's okay now and again, if that's what you need to do. You can uh, exercise and you can start a side hustle. You can make some money <laughs> and you can get this going. I mean, there's just lots of choices, but the choice is yours, decisions yours to make. What do you want to do? Why do you want to do it? Well, it's been, this is great. I love this conversation, Sunny. Thanks. We look forward to seeing you all next time. Have a great rest of your day. You've got this. <laughs> <laughs>